Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and set up Vagrant on your Windows operating system. So first of all, what is Vagrant? Vagrant is a virtual machine manager which uses command line interface to do all the tasks on the machine. Now, Vagrant is an application that helps in building consistent development environment with ease. But what does this mean? So let me give you an example. So as a developer, I develop uh, many applications day to day and I just give these applications to my colleagues to test them. So let's say I am developing a C++ application which runs on a Linux machine and this C++ application interacts with some database. Now I have created some dummy data to test my C++ application in the database. Now this C++ application, I want to give it to my colleague to test also. But how can I uh, pass or how can I transfer the same environment to my colleague so that so he can test the same C++ application in the same database environment with the same data which I have generated. That's where Vagrant comes into the picture. So using Vagrant, you can uh, just create and destroy virtual machines really fast. And then you can uh, transfer the Vagrant file to your colleague and using this Vagrant file, he can generate the same environment on which you were working on. So it's easy to transfer the development environment from one machine to another. So your software can be tested in the similar situations. So let's see how we can download and install Vagrant on our Windows operating system. Now to download and install and set up Vagrant, you need three things. One is Vagrant itself. Second is VirtualBox. And third is some SSH client. So let's start with the VirtualBox. So search for VirtualBox on your favorite browser. And then the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org. And then you can just select Windows hosts from here. And then you can download this VirtualBox. And it's pretty straightforward to download and install VirtualBox. So I'm not going to show you how you can download and install this. You can just uh, download this executable file and just press some next button and uh, VirtualBox will be installed on your system. So when VirtualBox is installed, it will look something like this, okay? Now the second thing is to download the Vagrant uh, MSI file. So just search for Vagrant here. And the first link which will appear here will be from vagrantup.com. So we are going to click on that website and then we will uh, reach to the home page of Vagrant Up website. And here we will just click on the downloads button, which is this one, downloads 2.0.0, which is the latest version at the time of making this video. And then we will select the Windows option and then we will just select the 64-bit option, right? And then I'm going to save this MSI file and while this MSI file is downloading on my system, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a terminal which is better than my Windows command prompt which comes with Windows 8 or Windows 10, right? So generally you need to have SSH in order to uh, use Vagrant. Now by default, this SSH is not present on your uh, Windows operating system. You can use putty uh, tool to use SSH, but I would like to use a command line tool, which is called CMDER. Commander is essentially a Windows terminal with additional Unix command line support. Okay, so just search for CMDER, and the first link which will appear here will be from CMDER.net. Just click on this uh, website, and you can see it will look like this. So it's a terminal which supports some Unix command. So it also comes with SSH. And this uh, CMDER uh, is a zip file. So it's not an executable file, it's a dot zip file. So we just need to extract it and start using this uh, terminal tool, okay? 
So I have downloaded the vagrant.msi file and cmder.zip file. So once they are downloaded, I'm going to just show you how to install vagrant and then use this uh, commander tool to uh, create our vagrant box. So now this uh, vagrant.msi file is downloaded. So I'm going to just click on this MSI file and then I'm going to click OK and then it's going to start installing Vagrant and then I'm going to see this kind of uh, setup wizard. I'm going to minimize the browser for now and then I'm going to just click next and I will accept license terms and condition and click next. This is the default location where Vagrant will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and click next. And now I will wait for the installation to complete. It's pretty straightforward and easy to install Vagrant. In the meantime, my cmder.zip file is also downloaded. So I'm going to just uh, extract it to the folder of my choice. You can extract it anywhere you want. So now the Vagrant installation is finished on my system. So I'm going to just click finish. And now it says you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to Vagrant to take effect. So just restart your Windows operating system and then we will and then we will see how we can create our first Vagrant box. So now I have restarted my Windows operating system and Vagrant is already installed on my system. So I will just start this cmder.exe file which I have extracted from commander.zip file. So just double click on this exe file and then click ignore and continue and then click cancel. And here, first of all, we are going to check the version of Vagrant. So just write Vagrant here and then minus V to know the version of Vagrant installed. And if it returns the version, that means it's perfectly installed on our system. So you can see Vagrant version 2.0.0 is installed on my system, right? So now we need to create a Vagrant box in order to use it. And how can we search this Vagrant box? So for that, you just need to visit vagrantup.com once again. And then you can see this uh, button which says find boxes. So just click on this button and then you can see different boxes which you can uh, you know configure and install on your system. So the most popular one is Ubuntu forward slash trusty 64. And then you can see different versions of uh, different Linux operating systems. So you can see CentOS uh, Vagrant Box or Debian Vagrant Box or different Vagrant Box you can find here. So what we are going to do is we are going to just uh, install and set up this uh, Ubuntu Trusty 64. So just click on this and here you can see the vagrant file of this uh, box will look like this but we are interested in uh, just initializing this box and creating this box so this is the command which we need to use so first of all what we will do is uh, we will just go to the folder where we want to create our box so let me create a folder here and i will name it as uh, ubuntu for example and then I will just CD into this folder. So just copy the path from here and then CD into this folder. And then we will just give the vagrant command. So just give uh, vagrant and then box add and then the name of your box, which is Ubuntu forward slash trusty 64, which is this one, right? So just copy and paste it here and then press enter. And for the first time, it's going to take some time to install the necessary files. So just wait for this command to complete and then we will initialize our box. So now this box is successfully added to my system. So now the next step is to initialize this box with this vagrant init command. So just copy this vagrant init ubuntu forward slash trusty 64 command and then just press ctrl v to paste this uh, command and then press enter and you can see this uh, vagrant file is uh, generated in this directory so i can just go to my directory where uh, i'm working in so you can see this vagrant file is generated using this vagrant init command so now i just need to uh, give the vagrant up command in order to uh, start my box. So you can just give this uh, command, which is vagrant up and then paste it here and then just press enter. 
So now the vagrant up command is finished on my system. So let me clear the terminal. And now I'm going to give this command vagrant SSH to connect to my uh, virtual machine. Okay, so just give this command vagrant SSH. And if this command gives any problem, in my case, you can see it's not connecting to the machine and it's not even giving any result then how we can debug this problem so in order to debug it you just need to give vagrant ssh minus config and then press enter which is going to show you your ssh config for vagrant so you can see the username of the ubuntu trusty mas machine is vagrant and this is the SSH key, private key in my case. And then this is the default port, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to manually connect to the machine. So Vagrant SSH, if it fails this command, then we will connect manually to the machine. So just give this command SSH and then the username, username is Vagrant in our case, and then at the rate, so just give this uh, at the rate symbol and then your host name so username at the rate host name host name is uh, 127.0.0.1 in our case and then the port name with minus p flag so minus p and then the port name port name is 2222 you can see here and the next option is to give the private key path so just give minus i and then copy this path from here. So just copy this path, this whole path for the identity file. So just copy this whole path and then paste it and then press enter. So now you can see I'm connected to my virtual machine. So you can see the username at the rate vagrant minus Ubuntu minus trusty 64. So this is the terminal so i will just make my font a little bit smaller so you can see so i have given this command and then i am connected remotely to this uh, virtual machine which is for ubuntu 64 bit right so in this machine i can uh, just develop or install my software and test it for example with some database or anything any configuration and then transfer this vagrant file to my colleague for example and then he can use the same vagrant file to create a machine and then uh, you know use the same environment right now you may ask what is the purpose of installing virtualbox we haven't used virtualbox anywhere so just open your virtualbox and you will see this machine is running here so it turns out you don't need to do anything Vagrant will do automatically this for you. So it will uh, start running this uh, virtual machine on your virtual box automatically. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to install virtual box in order to use Vagrant. So here I can just do ls and uh, for example, I will just check pre present working directory. So I'm in this uh, home forward slash Vagrant directory and I can start working on this uh, virtual machine, right? So in this way, you can uh, install and set up Vagrant on your Windows operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.